I will be describing the process through which to test for the COVID-19 virus by swabbing the anterior nares, or the very front part of the nose, just inside the nostril. We usually have patients blow their nose if they need to, and we simply ask them to stay still, reminding them that they are in full control of this process and the collection of the specimen can be stopped in a second at their command. There are rare reasons people are unable to have anterior nares testing done, uh, most importantly, recent nasal surgery. But generally, this is well tolerated and uh, there are no significant contraindications. First, you will need to gather all the appropriate equipment. This includes your personal protective equipment. You will need a face mask. An N95 higher grade mask is also acceptable if it's actually available. Eye protection. If you have an N95, you can wear goggles. If you have a face mask, you can wear a shield over that. Gown and gloves. Next, you will need your specimen packet. And in the packet, you will find an instruction sheet uh, to familiarize yourself with the manufacturer's specific details. There will also be a swab or a flocked swab you sometimes will see. This looks like a giant Q-tip, and that's actually what you will be using to collect the specimen. You will also find a specimen vial that has some liquid transport medium in it as well. Then you will also need labels or possibly a requisition or lab slip. Once you have all of these, you can actually proceed to the third step, which is actually collecting the specimen itself. So you've washed your hands, you've put on your PPE, the patient has been prepared, you remove the swab from its packaging and holding it by the end, uh, you have the patient sitting comfortably with the head tipped up just a little bit, and you insert the swab into the nose, not more than an inch, so between a half an inch and an inch. When the swab is in place, you rotate it in a circular motion for three to five seconds. So one, one thousand, two, one thousand, three, one thousand, four, one thousand, five, one thousand. Then you remove it from that nostril and using the same swab, you repeat the procedure for the other nostril. There you go. The hard part is actually done. Next, while you're holding the swab, remove the cap from the tube. You insert the swab into the tube and break the stick off like you're breaking a twig. The bottom cotton part of the swab will actually be in that liquid medium, which is very important to keep the virus there so that there's enough of it there to be able to run the test accurately. You then ensure that you screw the cap back on tightly so that the medium doesn't leak out and label the vial with the patient's identification information. Next, uh, every facility will have a process to get the specimen to the courier, and if the courier is not immediately available to go to the laboratory, uh, the vial must be stored in an appropriate place so that the test can be run. 